Hello and welcome to another Waggies beer review. So today we're going to visit the Sutton Ashfield based Firewalk Brewing Company for a beer that's called Put the Bunny Back in the Box. A strawberry cheesecake sour, 7%. There we go. Picture the bunny there and uh, hazard a guess. It's from Conair. Um, the reference, uh, unless it's from something else and I don't know, but Small batch modern craft beers from Sutton Ashfield Knots, combining our love for beer, music in our brewery, tap room and bottle shop. Um, ingredients in this are strawberry puree and digested biscuits. So that's interesting. Um, here we go. Got this in a beer hall. Ooh. Um, end of November time. Didn't get up for the fifth birthday. Um, I may like doing beer reviews and I may love going to pubs, but you know, uh, on the financial side of things, there's only so much you can do in life. So, above regards, if you want to do it more or not. So, it's a hazy, uh, like a raspberry colour pour to this. Um, a little bit of a slightly off white head, good carbonation going off, hazy as we can see. There's a hint of strawberry on the nose at the moment. It's just come from the shed, and, and like I mentioned in one of my videos, we're uh, about the temperature, cold, and I prefer beers a bit warmer, not at fridge cold temperature. Oh, yeah. Now it's coming through the fruitiness of the strawberry. Oh, bless you. Cracking Brewery. Um, I've heard rumours that they're moving to a bigger kit. Um, it'll be interesting to see where they go with that. Um, and uh, how they go on with the the um, their place where they are now um, obviously for my money side of things if you're gonna go to a bigger kit you know you, you need to be brewing more often two or three times a week minimum um, I mean I know that when I look at breweries um, Brid Brewer and Tap Room is a friend of the Raggy Bay Review Channel his, he tends to be now, got a small kit, similar sort of kit to what Firewalk have got. And he's double brewing most days now, which is, you know, two brews on at once. But the beer's going, so he's obviously doing a roaring trade. I mean, I have nothing but admiration for anybody who's keeping their business going uh, amazingly well. Obviously, um... Oh, you can smell the sour on the nose. Yeah, that sour aroma. Oh. So like I say, um, this year they've been at uh, Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. Um, Derby Beer Con. Might have been somewhere else. We've got plenty of tap takeovers, collaborations. Um, it's been a good year for the lads. Um, and uh, that that where they are in Sutton Ashfield is an oasis. It um, it pulls people towards that area. Um, it says it's like a beacon for Sutton Ashfield. Not a lot in sort of Nashville from regards from a, a craft beer point of view, but you don't need it when you've got this brewery, these lads, and the brewery bottle shop doing what they're doing. Um, it just opens doors and uh, it brings people, like I say, it brings people in, 
it gives purpose to that area. When pubs and that come up on my radar, it's the only pub that way that comes up. Uh, there is, however, the Scruffy Dog. Um, not sure if that's the name of the brewery and the pub or just the name of the brewery. But uh, yeah, they are also in Sutton Ashfield. But I think the other side of Sutton Ashfield, to be fair. Um, I think it's called Scruffy Dog anyway. But uh, they're mostly pale ales and that, so they've not ventured further than um, easy drinking beers, shall we say. Uh, that's all to the good. But, um, you know, if, if, if you're running the pub, you, you want beers that are going to bring punters in as well. Pale ales are all good, but a variation brings people towards you. Um, not easy to brew a lot of that stuff but uh, I mean I myself after Christmas uh, once end of January comes and start refilling my kitty uh, start thinking about brewing uh, different stuff I've got one kit in, in the shed which was gifted to the channel um, and uh, you know I do want to do um, some more brews um, when the time comes at least uh, I'm, I'm gonna the first brew will be a barrel aged um, port and plum porter so plum port porter or port plum porter yeah yeah port and plum porter sounds better doesn't it but uh, yeah so that'll be good Yeah, that's definitely, definitely the first one on the agenda. And then over the year, lots of different things. Um, mainly bigger beers. I'm not going for the small beers. I'm not interested in 3% beers. Stuff like that. I want beers with a bit of character, a bit of something about them. So, pour the rest in. Here we go. Now, obviously, going down the sour route means now that they've learned how to do that, uh, that they can go further in that field. And, and there's other things they can do. I mean, I know they've done barrel aging. Um, and it's amazing how breweries have developed around me. You know, there may be breweries that have gone or going there's another local one going or gone now. Um, which reminds me, I need to go and check the website just to, just to, just to um, affirm what I think has happened. But we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, it is sad to see breweries go. You know, really sad. But breweries do open up and I don't think we're in the same stage as we were years ago where it was like two or three breweries just in Nottingham. And if you look at the last 10 years, the 10, 20 years, the amount of breweries uh, that have opened this. So everyone's getting a piece of the pie, but that pie is expanding and uh, modern traditional craft beers, you know, it, it, everybody, there's a beer for everyone out there. Just like this beer. So as we can see, it's got a thicker, got more of a colour to it now. Now it's uh, the bottom of the can's come out. Oh, loving the tartiness of the strawberry. Yeah. Never feel as own in the bit in the kitchen as doing the bare room because one I'm stood up, which is never that great. Um, so I've got I've got a cupboard door open, a bit like I used to have, but there used to be a cupboard on that wall there behind the glass cupboard. But since I had the kitchen read, and it's a little bit more bland um, these days. But um, Wow, 
some kick to it. Good seven percenter. Um, like I say, decent ABV on this. Um, plenty of beers available at the tap room. Whether they're delivering these beers, I'm not sure. So if you like the sound of it, contact them through Facebook or through the website. Uh, I'm sure they'll mess, they'll get back to you. Uh, if the beers aren't on the website, I'm sure they'll tell you what beers they've got in stock anyway. And I go from there. I'm hoping to get myself up there soon. Um, this year, do, we do want to go out and venture around a bit more. Not just stick to certain areas of Nottingham. Uh, I love Beeston. But uh, yeah, I do want to you know put a few different areas on the equation. Um, the only downside is there's not that many great areas locally. There's a lot of great pubs, but not in the middle of the town. I don't want to go to any in the middle of Nottingham City Centre because it's it can be quite rough. Um, Cannon Circus area is decent, I suppose. Beeston's fantastic. Snanton's good. But, um, yeah, apart from them areas, there's not... You have to go much further afield. And then that, that means somebody's driving, which is, is crap if you're the driver. Um, because you're limited to, at the most, two pints, you know, at, at 4%. Um, because otherwise, you, you know, you, you're in trouble. And you don't, no one wants to be in trouble. So, yeah, loving this. Um, would I drink it again? Yeah, yeah, lovely. Um Fantastic sour from the from the good pair of guys. Um, out of five for me, four point five out of five. Yeah, very nice. And that is my beer review. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.